Hi, my name is Alan Madden. I'm a chartered accountant and a tax expert in the Mississauga, Toronto and Oakville regions of Ontario, Canada. The topic of today's short video is management buyouts and taxes in Canada. What is a management buyout? A management buyout is where the employee or employees of a business buy the company from their existing boss who is the owner of the company. There are three ways in which to implement a management buyout. The first and most common way is for the employees to buy the shares directly from the owner of the corporation. The major advantage with this strategy is that the owner can claim the capital gains exemption on the sale of his shares. This means that the owner can receive up to $750,000 of profit on the sale without paying any tax whatsoever on the sale of his shares. The major disadvantage of this strategy is that the employee or employees of the company may not have the cash or financing available to buy out the owner. Additionally, the employment income that the employees receive may not be sufficient to buy the shares directly from their owner because of the high rate of taxes imposed on employment income. In the province of Ontario, for example, taxes are as high as 46.4%, therefore not leaving much after-tax cash available to the employees to buy out the shares of the owner. The second way that a management buyout can take place is by having the corporation directly repurchase the shares from the owner. If the corporation has sufficient cash on hand, it can buy the shares all at once or over a period of time. Generally in this strategy, the employees of the company agree to lower their salaries in the meantime in order to provide the company with sufficient cash to buy the shares from the existing owner. The payment received from the corporation to the owner on the repurchase of the shares would be taxed as a dividend. Once the shares are repurchased, new shares at a nominal amount will be issued to the employees. Again, this can be done all at once or in stages. The third and final way in which a management buyout can take place is by having the owner sell his shares to a newly formed corporation which is owned by the employees. For the purposes of this example, we'll call that new corporation NUCO. NUCO in step one acquires the shares from the owner in exchange for a promissory note or note payable. The promissory note or note payable is equal to the fair market value of the shares at the date of the sale. In step two, the subsidiary company, which is now the operating company, uses its cash and pays a dividend to NUCO, which of course is owned by the employees. In step three, NUCO takes the dividend it received from its subsidiary operating company, which by the way is tax-free, and uses that dividend money to repay the promissory note. Again, this can be done all at once or in stages. Now, both parties win in this example from a tax perspective, the employer and the employees. The employer wins because he was able to sell his shares to NUCO with out paying any tax whatsoever on the first $750,000 of profit on the sale of his shares by claiming the capital gains exemption. The employees also win because they are able to use the cash generated by the operating company to eventually repay the owner, the promissory note that NUCO owns it. Contrast it to the previous example where the owners where the employees had to use their after-tax salary to repay the owner of the shares. So this way it's much more tax efficient. 
If you found this video useful, I encourage you to visit the website which is shown at the bottom of this video, httpmaddenca.com, and also get access to your free report, 20 Tax Secrets on How to Beat the Tax Man, the URL for which is shown at the end of this video. So go ahead, get access to your free report, visit my website, and make yourself a lot wealthier. Thanks for watching.